Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. What a wonderful day. Well, it's birthday time. Um, June is my month. My birthday's coming up towards the end of June. And I'm celebrating, enjoying. I had a wonderful time a couple of days ago with Vivian Westwood. I spent a couple of hours with Dame Vivian Westwood. It was incredible. In her honor, I'm dressed in Vivian Westwood from head, huge head. How's my head? Never had any complaints. To toe, all the way down. I can't really go underneath here. We have to kind of censorship for this part of the t-shirt, at least as far as YouTube is concerned. Um, let's zoom that in. Picture, bam. Vivian and Jacob. Oh, what a thrill. Thank you so much, Vivian. Bam, back. Okay, now, topic today. Finally, kind of like bigger resolution, high resolution images of the Chanel Gabriel uh, perfume bottle have been released or have leaked. I don't know because Chanel officially did not post them, so I guess they've leaked. And I delivered the image of the bottle to you guys on my Instagram profile. You could check out my Instagram profile. It is called Super Jacob, all spelled together. Uh, that's my username uh, on Instagram. Go follow me there for amazing and incredible pictures <laughs> and stories and storylines. But I digress. So let's cue in the bottle, bam, here you have it, and off we go. So the bottle, you could check it out on my Instagram profile if you want to parallel kind of like check, it, check out the bottle while we're discussing and debating the shape. I have asked you on Instagram for your opinion on the bottle. I did not express mine on Instagram because I wanted to hear yours because similar to what we already did in the past, I am going to read your opiniones on the bottle. Live, kind of live. Well, right now it's live as I'm filming. So let's see what you guys think about it. A lot of you have many, many opinions. You have expressed many opinions. So Dennis Rush No One or Dennis Rush Number One, how you doing, uh, sweetie? So this is the final version of the bottle. Thanks for your post. I must look uh, a little bit on it, but it isn't love at first sight. Then Dennis continues, I was thinking of a classical bottle like number five, Eau de Parfum or Parfum. Prepared it, which is this one. This is the pure Parfum. Uh, but in a more clear, primitive way. So before the diamond was ready. The diamond, I think, is just a kind of cabochon shape on the top. Right there. And then Dennis continues, so longer I look at it and the more I don't like it. Hmm, okay, so that's Dennis. Then um, next we got Kiadora. How you doing, Kiadora, sweetie? Um, I like it. It's different, but it's Chanel DNA is preserved at the same time, in my opinion. Uh, Emilio, how you doing, Emilio, sweetie? Uh, Emilio says, honestly, I love it. Then we got Elina Lublinsky or Lublinsky. How you doing, sweetie? Uh, it's quite beautiful. James Welsh underscore. How you doing, sweetie? Um, looks very vintage to me. And then you put uh, an emoticon with hearts in the eyes. Jennifer McCray. How you doing, Jennifer, sweetie? Uh, I agree that it looks vintage. Then we got AKA dot poopsie. How you doing, sweetie? I uh, love it. And a heart. Then we got uh, Freedy Graham. How you doing, Freedy Graham, sweetie? Uh, the glass bottle is, is a good product design given the positioning of Gabrielle as the pre coco younger looking version of a typical Chanel perfume. I don't appreciate the small metal cap, but I guess it goes with the flow. Mm -hmm. Then we got not underscore Ray. How you doing, sweetie? I'm like, hop, hop, hop. <laughs> Super strange. Anyway, uh, it looks a bit like that um, Azzarro perfume. I love it. Then we got Katya bo underscore Bozukova underscore Art. How you doing, sweetie? Um, I do like it when Chanel gives us a different design. It's like Au Premier of number five. It sets it apart from the rest and makes it memorable. I hope the comparisons don't stop there. I am one of those people who love Au Premier. I also like, um, I like it when Chanel takes a chance on a new thing. 
And we got Lorenza Espinoza Gobel. How are you doing, sweetie? Uh, reminds me of Guerlain L'Homme Ideal. Definitely getting some unisex vibes from the design. Interesting. Yes, this is interesting to hear. And we got Faisal Dot Al Abdul Hadi. How are you doing, sweetie? Um, masculine body for a feminine perfume. We are progressing again into the genderless Chanel. I love it. Then we got the peppermint posts. How are you doing, sweetie? Um, I actually like it, but I think I need to see it in real life to give a proper judgment, but I think I will like it. Now I'm very curious about the smell. Me too. <laughs> Uh, then we got Nadia Baskin. How you doing, sweetie? Uh, so chic and elegant. I expect nothing less of Chanel. Then we got Jackie Dot Galaxy. How you doing, sweetie? I don't like it. There's something about the metal cap that bothers me. Then we got Hannah Sam ha Hannah Samlal. How you doing, sweetie? Uh, very unexpected. Looks unisex. I think this one will be a surprise, especially when Kristen Stewart is the face of it. Is she the face of it? I'm not sure. I, I don't know. Well, probably she is, but who knows? Maybe she's not. She reminds me of a dark floral that's intoxicating. I think the concept of it being a feminine, soft, and sweet fragrance is a no-no. This seems deep, but in a way light. A tomboyish Gabrielle with a streak of allure and innocence. And we got Chris East Coast. How you doing, sweetie? Wow, not what I expected at all. Has a vintage slash classic feel but also modern. Can't wait to smell the juice. Then we got Très Chic 84. How you doing, sweetie? Love it. Then we got Zmarniz. How you doing, sweetie? Uh, to see the bottle from the designer's perspective. The bottle still has the basic silhouette and form from the previous Chanel bottles, yet it can be a bold, timeless, honest, unobtrusive, and pure design. That's the Chanel essence and principles that I understand when it comes down to design. Very interesting. Can underscore 1996, how you doing, sweetie? Pretty sleek and Chanel-like, minimalism. And then we got Forever Fat Kid, how you doing, sweetie? Oh, I like. Hope the juice inside is good. Okay, so these are just basically, I just posted this uh, image like really an hour or two ago and we already have all these comments rushing in and more are coming along as we go oh here one just popped in um ang 0702 how you doing sweetie uh, interesting i'm looking forward to smelling it lol all right okay this is my opinion um first of all let me get to a couple of these comments. Now, as far as bold and timeless, I personally don't find the bottle to be very timeless. Um, I agree with who said that it is very Guerlain. Here it is. Lorenza Espinoza Gobel. I totally agree with you. It's very Guerlain Nom Ideal kind of in a way. Uh, the bottle. Um, Then I'm also like the pre Coco Younger Freedy Graham. Um, good product design given the positioning of Gabrielle as the pre Coco Younger looking version of a typical Chanel perfume. I don't appreciate the small, you know. Also, what Dennis says, like, uh, or, or maybe Chris Isco has also thought about it, but I don't know if he said it or not. Like, this pre Chanel, so you know, the first, first, first bottle of Chanel number no. five in 1921 was way sleeker than what we know Chanel number no. five to be today. Th this bottle was not the original bottle. Um, actually, let me just move to the side. Bam, faded in there for a second so you could see it and out. Now, that is already extremely minimalist, very art deco, you know. It needn't be so Art Deco or Art Deco because we are in 2017. So that's, it's fine in my personal opinion if Chanel were to add something, you know, more modern, like a particular metal stopper or cap. Is it magnetic or not? I don't know. I think it's going to be like a click cap. But however, the shape of it, I agree with the two of you that are saying it's not really good looking. I don't like that cap. And I also have a big issue with kind of that cross in the middle of the glass. You know, you have those lines, those kind of 
um, lines that, that meet where the sticker or where the, I don't know if it's a paper sticker with the, with the logo with Chanel and the name Gabrielle on it, or if it's a metal plaque. I think it's a paper sticker, but it, it might be a metal plaque. I really can't understand very well from the photo. So the cross kind of meets there. So you don't have the full cross, you just have the lines kind of going towards the extremities of the, of the sticker, let's call it. It's too much for me. So I made a little drawing of how I would have kind of changed the design or how I would have proposed the design to be. Like, you know, if it had to be a bottle like the bottle that they did, I would have done something like this. You see, I made the top more reminiscent of the original Chanel from 1921, the original Chanel number no. 5 from 1921. And those crosses that went through the whole, you know, diagonally through the bottle, I would have made them stop. Here we have the example of uh, Chance au Tendre. This is a big bottle, 150 ml. Um, now, it's really hard to see though. How do we do this? <laughs> ah, here's a better example. Okay, this is the monolith cocoa bottle. Let me show you guys. So you could see the gold on the sides. Let me cover my eyes so it focuses on the actual bottle. Uh, this is kind of the, the plastic in this case, but the glass in this case, it's the same kind of system, only this one is round and this one isn't. Um, the glass has kind of an edge that cuts kind of diagonally. So this is what I kind of exaggerated a little bit in my drawing, but I would have these kind of borders, I would have done that to them. So I would have kind of like etched the glass in a little. Actually, I would have done this, you know, my Gabrielle or Gabrielle version, uh, my Gabrielle bottle design would have had something like this stopper, but in metal, and instead of having the round shape, it would have been the square shape, and we would have had this kind of glass etched on the sides in a square shape, and then the sticker in the middle. I would have done it as simple as that. They went a bit too far with the all the little details, the ornamental kind of almost detail on that stopper, you know, creating almost like a T and the X. I'm not liking the X. It just doesn't work for me at all. So this is what would be my suggestion, Chanel, my dear, here you go, guys, Olivier Polge and whoever, for him or you, that's what I would do. You know, something that's more reminiscent of also the cocoa bottle. Or also, you know, these kind of recall, the, the Les Exclusives have a slight, slight cut at the bottom. If anybody has these bottles, you can see the bottom of the glass isn't just 90 degree angle, but there's like a diagonal kind of slit through the glass at a certain point, especially at the bottom, you could see. Uh, it's going to be hard to see. But anyway, that's that's what I would do. Um, these gold hues and gold tones of the liquid inside the bottle. I don't know. I have spoken to a couple of Chanel essays that at the end of May already have had the first sampling and testing of Gabrielle. None of them were enthusiastic about it. And that's kind of, that makes me quite worried. On the other hand, not everybody shares the same taste. Actually, to be perfectly honest with you, the more people I hear that have smelled it that don't like it, the more hope I, I, I get for liking it. Because if a lot of people don't like it, it's not a crowd pleaser. And if it's not a crowd pleaser, then there's a complication. And like there's a structure and a pattern and an individuality and a character in there. And that is always a good thing. Now, granted, the people I usually talk to have a hell of a lot of character and are very opinionated people. So, you know, getting a no-go from them does worry me, to be honest. So we're just going to have to wait out and see, you know, a couple of weeks more or months, depending on whether or not they decide to release it a bit uh, sooner than later. But I'm super excited. I mean, you know, again, it's my birthday month and... Speaking of Chanel, I hinted at something uh, prior in a couple of days ago when I started talking about my birthday and I had a sneaky suspicion something was going on uh, with a birthday present and <laughs> I can show you this is coming up pretty soon. Something, 
Something came to the fashion bunker. I haven't opened it yet. As you can see, it's still... <laughs> I'm not allowed to yet, but I will very, very soon. And I'm super excited. Uh, so, <clears throat> this the, the family is guilty. Um, so, in a way, it's my blood. It's my DNA. So, I'm guilty as well. But it wasn't me who directly perpetrated the purchase. And I, I still don't know what's inside, but I have a sneaky suspicion. I'm super excited. And I want to kind of keep sizzling myself. It's so weird to have something like this in the bunker and not knowing what is really inside, but already having it physically there. Uh, I'm going crazy, but I have to resist at least a couple of days more and it's going to be super fun to tease myself, to tease you. I'm so ecstatic and excited. Um, anyway, so many Chanel news. Woo! Okay. Birthday month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been doing the stupidest stuff. I'm Dunkin' Donuts, for example. I'm, uh, I'm such a sucker for this shit. Uh, <laughs> banana flavored iced coffee. And the funny thing is they ask you when you're purchasing it, would you like some sugar in there? I'm like, but the banana syrup is already pure sugar. What more do you want? You know, no, I don't want added sugar. It's already sweet as hell. Um, so yeah, but the ice is melted. Oh, mm. Ah, life is good. Life is good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me more opinions in the comment section down below because I think as the days progress from now on, Chanel will be teasing us more and more. There will be more and more details leaked. More and more people that have tested and sampled Gabrielle are going to come forward and tell us what they think about it. So with each passing minute, we're going to have more news. I'm sure of that. So you could also, you know, keep an eye out on my uh, Super Jacob Instagram profile because that's the quickest way I have to communicate with you guys. So as soon as I have any news, I'll be posting it there first. And then I have to, you know, film and edit. And then I'm going to post it also here on YouTube. Uh, I will also be... Um, Snapchatting news as they come along because that's very quick as well on snapchat You could also find me super Jacob all spelled together So guys, thank you so much for watching if you like this video Please do thumb it up and give me your guesses on what could be in this secret package That arrived to the fashion bunker for my birthday um, All bets are open Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already here on YouTube I'm also on Instagram Facebook and Twitter so guys, no matter how much we like or dislike the bottle and fragrance contained within, we still remain very poised and elegant and we never give up on love. Love you guys. See you soon. Take care. Bye.